Hello once more everyone, this is Grand Bulwark coming to you from Skyrim Project Stability once more. Uh, today, we are going to talk about dirty edits and mods. Um, it's important to minimize these dirty edits using BOSS and TES5 edit in conjunction with one another, but it is also very important not to just run every single mod you have through TES5 edit for cleaning. Uh, generally speaking, a rule of thumb is to follow boss's advice. So what we're going to do now is we're going to run boss. Uh, I'm assuming you all know how to do this. If not, just type and make sure boss is installed. And once it's installed, uh, just run the boss GUI exe. Now, once boss has been run, it's going to give us a readout of our SKSE plugins, which we can disregard our recognized plugins and our unrecognized. Now unrecognized plugins of course need to be sorted by you later but as far as dirty, dirty edits go there aren't going to be any dirty edits listed here because boss doesn't recognize those plugins yet. So if you were to refer to the recognized plugins you will see two flags. One is from my example mods War Zones Civil Unrest which for the record, is uh, blacklisted and blacklisted for a reason. It is used purely as an example. Cleaning it will not fix it. Uh, you see that its flag contains uh, dirty edits and needs cleaning. Now, I show you this example to show you yet another one. If you scroll down a bit farther, you will notice guard dialog overhaul, which boss notes, do not clean the dirty edits are intentional and required for the mod to function. So, in light of this, we're going to assume that since Warzones is the only one that is throwing dirty edits, Warzones is the only one that needs to be cleaned, at least right now. So what we're going to do is close out of Boss and instead open up TES5 Edit. Right click in the Master Plugin Selection box and press Select None select war zones or whatever mod it may be in your case that needs cleaning and then select OK. You don't need to worry about selecting master files they're loaded automatically. Whatever is required for war zones to run will automatically be loaded when war zones is loaded. Now in a moment uh, right now be able to demonstrate how to clean it. So in order to clean this mod you're going to right click it and you're going to select uh, apply filter for cleaning. Now this takes a few moments uh, depending on how large the mod is. Uh, bear with me, it's almost done. Okay, now, it's, now that it's done, all you need to do from here is select remove identical to master records. When the warning comes up, Click yes, I'm absolutely sure. Afterwards, you're going to select, right click once more, and select undelete and disable references. Now, it's not really gonna give you much of a confirmation, but if you look down here or over here, you can see what has been taking place, generally speaking. Uh, once that's done, you're going to select X as if you were going to close out of the uh, program. And you're going to make sure both war zones or whichever mod you cleaned and backup plugins is checked. And then you're going to select OK. Now that it's closed, it's not only put your new clean ESP into your data folder, it's also put a new folder in your data folder titled TES5 Backups and place the original in that folder in the event that something went wrong. Uh, good luck, everyone, and thank you for watching.